All right, welcome back. And before we get into doing this, I have one thing I have to do. What player level am I? Let's see, I believe I'm level 18. That's pretty good. You guys are here for something special. <laughs> Goku! Because just look it up. In order to get some characters, you need to be over a certain level. That's what the player level is for, I think. You can get certain things. So, we're gonna start this one with Super Shenron. If you were to choose I want more characters, it would give you Goku Black and Zamasu. But, or like Fuse Zamasu or something. But instead, I want more levels. You play level 20. 20, yes! So now, you'll be able to get some other characters. Which you couldn't get before. Not sure where level I am, but we'll find out soon. But now, we have Let's one thing it. more to do. Shall we, Lord I didn't know this would happen, but we have another... Another chapter. Jiren's chapter. What lies beyond strength itself? Jiren time. The Dream of Tower Power begins with the fates of numerous universes on the line. Universe 11, Jiren stands silently as furious combat unfolds around him. Suddenly, Kale from Universe 6 loses control and goes on a rampage. Lost to a rage, Kale causes a warrior from Universe 11 to drop out. Seeing the situation, Jiren finally joins the fray. Such power from her war cry alone. Jiren! Oh, there's two! It's never done. It's always. There's two, huh? I must act. It's over. <laughs> Yo! Jiren! It's time to fight! Time has come for Jiren and Goku to fight, but the moment those two meet in battle. Justice Flash! Justice Flash, huh? Double fired off, but Justice Flash. With Double's invasion, Jiren abandons the battle without without fighting Goku. The of power continues with Jiren watching from the sideline to, to conserve his stamina. Jiren, can you hear me? You no longer need to conserve your power. I want you to crush that Goku from the seventh. On the orders of Belmont, Universe 11's got a destruction. Jiren sets out to crush Goku. My ally. Shut up. Do what you feel is required. Do whatever fulfills your desires. Fight so that you may claim the Super Dragon Ball. So, you finally decided to fight me after all this time. Forward. Justice trumps evil. I think you missed, buddy. I have a 
full appreciation of your strength now. That's convincing to you something I've been holding back. How would you just die? You are done. Secret ending unlocked. Secret endings are harder to unlock. I'm doing that first. Everybody, please lend me your energy. Is it still going? What? Oh, 20 was the max anyway. I wasted a wish. I'm gonna need a lot more time to gather enough energy. I'll wait. Take however much time you require. If this is your special move, then I want it done right. Jiren, once you're out, I hope you don't regret giving me the time to finish this. This is what it looks like when the seventh universe unites! This is our spirit bomb! Mm. Seriously? Kira not only takes the hit from the spirit bomb, but turns it back towards Goku. All seems lost and Goku and especially awakens to a new power. This is, this is how I unlock Goku's forms, isn't it? <laughs> Goku endures. What has he done? Forward! Ow. <laughs> you are done for. What the? How can this be happening? Autonomous Ultra Instinct. All the others are surprised too. It must be something super spectacular. No. At this point, it would be premature for me to verify it is true. However, it is certainly a development that demands attention. with this. Well, Saiyan, you're a truly fascinating creature. However, your passion is expended. You have nothing more to offer. The player XP is useless now. Which is fine. During his fight with Jiren, Goku awakens a new power, and yet the, the Pride Trooper's abilities eclipse even this form. Just then, a shadow makes its way toward Jiren. That's right! The infamous assassin of the Sixth Universe. Just why are you here? 
to do my job. Tell me, assassin. Do you really think you can stop me? Like I said, that's my job. times must you fail? Endless futility. And how many times must I tell you I will do my job until the end? <laughs> just get it just get it along the side there. Try to be His contain. There's much more you three can do. So move. We must save the sixth universe. Pride of an assassin is good for nothing. Having fought off even the universe six assassin hit, Yuren leaves things to Topo and, and to Soap. I can't say his name anymore. While he begins to to, to meditate. This bow, that's what I want, this bow. As the term power nears its end, Goku defeats another tough enemy using his newly awakened Ultra Instinct. You know, Topo and, and this bow are taken down by Universe 7's other fighters. He used Jiren as the last warrior standing from Universe 11. Jiren brushes aside attack after the attack from other heroes until Android 17 stands before him. Bell might ask Android 17 what he would wish for. He replies that he would take his family on a cruise, then Android 17 poses the same question to Jiren. How about you, Jiren? What would you choose? It seems to me you just want to be known as the strongest. Or is there more? I, too, have a wish to make of the dragon. Those words trigger a memory for, for Belmud. Perhaps it's time that all of you know the true reason behind Jiren's obsession with strength. Seven tales of how Jiren's parents, mentor, and comrades were all killed by a villain. Too weak to face his foe and betrayed by the friends he trusted, Jiren came this far believing the weak must submit to the strong. And Jiren, 
was left all alone. He suffered through untold grief when those he trusted walked away, betraying their principles for the easier path. As he saw it, there was only one great truth. Might makes right. And strength determines all. Only victories ensure allegiance. Subdue and others will follow. Having feelings just got in the way. I'm enamored by his singular resolve. This colossal strength built on a bedrock of suffering and desolation. Trouble trusting people? Because it looks like your teammates have been trusting you, but you've just been using them to get what you want. Shut up! You don't know nothing about cheering. Let me guess. You think if you win, everything can go back to the way it was. You'll have the dragon undo what happened. I want strength. Strength is absolute. Power forgives everything, even the past. After this, Goku and Vegeta are driven into a corner only to be saved by Android 17, sacrificing himself to erect a barrier. Vegeta, having been saved from falling off the ring, wields the rest of his stamina and strength to, to challenge Jiren to a final bout. You've already seen you can't compete with my strength, no matter how many of you weaklings team up. <laughs> Your confidence is pissing me off. Skipping your usual transformation? I'm more than a match for you like this! Got you! Justice trumps evil. This is pointless. You should exit the ring. Shut your mouth! If that's how you want it, then fine. I'm done playing these games. Forward! Your battle is already over, Sailor. You know it's futile, and yet something pushes you to keep going. What could it be? <laughs> Good question. But even if I told you, you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't know what it means to fight for others with all your heart and soul. As your foe, I acknowledge the power of your pride. But it's over. Even if I'm not the one who does it. Even if I'm not the one who delivers the final blow. As long as the universe wins, it's fine by me. Our stuff, I have, I'm a max player level. I got to 18 on my, no, not my own. I did use the dragon to get to level five. And I used the dragon after I was at 18 to get to 20. It'd take a while to look. So I guess it's fine. Vegeta drops out, leaving Goku the final fighter from Universe 7 left in the arena. So he entrusted his energy to you. 
More foolishness dressed as valor. Trust provides nothing but a path to the grave. I'm standing here because Vegeta and the rest of my team trusted I could find a way to pull this off. I'll win because I refuse to let them down. I won't fail. Once again, Goku stands in Jiren's, Jiren's way. Little time remains at a tournament of power. It's gonna be a hard fight. Jiren has been watching. He has studied Goku's power and the way the Saiyan fights during their own battles and as a spectator while Goku fought Kefla. Goku may be super amazing, but Jiren is super, super amazing. So he knows how to block. Who can? A strong defense will only get him so far. Without an offense to match, he has no chance of victory. With his incomplete Ultra Instinct, all he's doing is delaying the inevitable. You called it incomplete, which implies he hasn't fully mastered it yet. Don't tell me you're stupid enough to ignore the obvious implications of that. Are you suggesting that he can master Ultra Instinct in the time that he has left? Please. <laughs> you're a fool. That's impossible. 48 minutes. That's all we were given for this tournament of power. Yet in that brief time span, we Saiyan warriors have shattered our limits time after time. You've seen it with your own eyes, Destroyer. Jiren, what are you waiting for? End this! Not go to out of this tournament now! Over here! Sad. Something beyond my strength's limit. So it shall, Goku. I don't care if it's true Ultra Instinct. It won't matter. Jiren will never lose. He can't lose. Give me everything. It's not possible. I cannot lose. I won't accept defeat. Might makes right and might alone. Without strength, we have nothing. If I don't win, then all my effort, all I've struggled to achieve, all of it will have been pointless! I'll lose everything, just like I did before, and I absolutely refuse to go through that again! This is everything! Kakarot backed him into a corner. It seems the prospect of him losing made him relive all the trauma from his past. Goku had the edge, damn it. Tell me how. How you stand up no matter how many times you fall. Answer me, Goku! Because Vegeta and Seventeen and all the others keep everything they... Yeah, we've already heard this. As incredible before. as you are, now you have to admit what I've been saying is true, right? You understand, don't you? Jiren and Goku, their limit breaking, but it continues. Soon, the former finds himself brought to bear by the new power of Ultra Instinct. But then Goku collapses right before Jiren's eyes as if he had re finally reached the limits of his new power. You are a true warrior, Goku. There can be no doubt. I regret that our spirited battle must have such an inglorious end. What a shame. But though you shall soon vanish from existence, know that you shall live forever in my memory. 
Farewell. Then, just when Jiren is about to loot, toss Goku out of the arena. Goku's looking pretty useless now. We're gonna have to handle this ourselves. Yes, obviously. Frieza and Andrew 17, who had been lying in wait, step out to face Jiren. That hard outer shell of strength has been cracked, and now you're quite fragile. It's as though I can hear the screaming in your tortured and wounded soul. I think you're terrified of being weak and helpless once again. I went to Jiren suffers the pair's onslaught, and the battle takes a sudden turn. This time you'll get more than just a scratch. I've learned your tricks. Wanna bet? For Rillance to suffer from Frieza and Andrew Seventeen, Jiren is finally brought down. Well, Jiren, you did your best. I know you did. What are you doing, Jiren? Kneeling down at your enemy's feet? Is this honestly the way you want your fight to end? Get up! Come on! Why would you spend all those years honing your strength, rejecting everything and everyone else, just to surrender? Keep fighting to the end! Oh, please, I really am going to wretch you. That's enough! Frieza, get out of there! Hold on, you can't lose! Sorry about that, you guys. I didn't mean to leave you like that, but I got this. So, once again you have returned, and once again you will fall. Sharon's focusing an incredible amount of energy now. Damn it, he did it! Finally out of his own head! Don't you, Goku? To bring me back to life? You already heard it. Farewell. No. Is this the end? Full power proficiency.
After an atrocious uh, uh, fight, Jiren defeats Goku, Frieza, and Ninja 17, guiding Universe 11 to victory. Falling from the arena, Goku admits defeat, almost as if he is satisfied by the outcome, then he vanishes. Jiren had come this far, honing his strength all on his own, never trusting a single soul. He survived through, through to the end, brilliantly proving his strength to be absolute. And that's the official ending of his story. Come again? Oh, wait, never mind. That's Jiren Saga. I was getting confused here. There's more? Because that didn't count as his end. Okay, so let's see what it was I missed. What are the conditions? Let's see. Alternative objective was beat Frieza, Andrew 17, and Goku. And I did. Survive the battle against Andrew. It's Frieza. Okay, so don't kill them. Hold on. You can't lose. All right, I'll be back with the story. Something happened. 17 is still on the field. This is different. This is different. Because before, I, de I defeated them all. I need you to throw me, Saiyan! You got it! One alley you Coming up! Yiren gives his all, trying to hold back Goku, Frieza, and Ninja 70 his onslaught of attacks. Go! This must be the secret of the seventh universe. The power of trust. Trust the universe seven shares proves to be too strong, and he is kicked out of the arena. Goku and Frieza's combined attack send Jiren flying from the arena, resulting in Universe 11's explosion from the tournament. Contestant Jiren is eliminated. The 11th has been defeated. They will now be expunged. As Jiren begins to vanish, someone speaks to him. Jiren, we thank you. You thank me? I ignored you during this whole tournament. My ambitions were my only goal. Still, you know, Jiren and Jiren's 11 comrades thank him for giving the fight his all till the very end. I know we just barely finished the battle of our lives, but I'm already hungry for the next fight. Maybe you don't want to hear this. I hope to see you again, Jiren. His words are the last Jiren hears before he vanishes. But soon after, all the universes are restored using the Super Dragon Balls, reviving Jiren and his other, other Universe 11 comrades as well. Jiren speaks with Tulpo before swearing an oath. Until next time, Goku. We shall meet again. As, and so, Jiren continues his pursuit of strength. Okay, so that's that. But we, we, had, we had a choice we missed in the back. We're gonna look at that. But yeah, I get, I get more stuff. But, uh... There's a question mark right there. I worry not for that. I'm more curious about... I'm curious about what would happen if I, I did. Yes, yeah, so I want to know what happens if I didn't finish her off and instead I watched. Let's see. So I went the cannon round. But let's go a non-cannon round. Wait and see. Wow, you're really something else. I can tell you're no ordinary Super Saiyan. Energy. The Saiyans are forced to be reckoned with indeed. Saiyans, huh? Tension rises like a wave between Jiren and Goku as they face off. Before they can end the match, Topo appears, telling his teammate to let another Pride Trooper f fight the Saiyan. Jiren and Topo retreat temporarily to conserve their strength. 
Who can win the fighters of Universe 7 use the opportunity to knock out mem member after member of Universe 11 fighters in the Pride Traverse? But it is not long before Jiren stands in Goku's way once more. 18 still here? Yeah. What? It's changed. The entire world on itself is shaking. I sure you I'm not. You're just kicking my ass. You've gotta be kidding. You always vanish at least twice. Is there an alternative? There's not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wide open. It's a weird glitch that happens with the bot sometimes, it seems. Nice try. <laughs> Yeah, the exact time you'll vanish, how many vanishes you'll do. This can't be good. Forward. You're no No escape. Sad. So you finally decided to fight me after all this time.
More health. That's the maximum. Forward. Justice trumps evil. Three strike. <laughs> you outplayed me, Jiren. More money. Jiren overwhelms Goku and the other fighters all on his own. To him, none is worthy as a true opponent. But then Goku awakens a new power. He he rushes at the Pride Trooper with fright, frightening speed. You don't know when to surrender, Goku. You've already lost this fight. Justice trumps evil. No escape! No alternative, good. Well, say You're a truly fascinating creature. However, your passion is expended. You have nothing more to offer. The infamous assassin of the sixth universe. Just why are you here? To do my job. Try to keep up. 
Super Ultra Interesting Sign. Nice. This is how you get all of his stuff. Boom. Hit, hit aims for Jiren's weak points, but his powers are ineffective against the Pride Trooper, resulting in him falling from the arena. No one left to fight, Jiren begins to meditate. Tokoku and his Ultra Instinct tug at, at his mind. Holy smokes! It's Jiren! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you're here to spar with an old man like me. I saw your fight with Goku back there, and I've got to say, I've never seen such tremendous strength. And thanks to that strength, Goku's been growing rapidly. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing a student mature. So you are Goku's master? Indeed I am. Then that's enough reason to take you on. Oh man, really? Oh man. If you've gathered that much strength, there must be something you want to wish for with the Dragon Balls. I don't think so. I too have a wish to make of the dragon. For years, his heart had clung to just one thing, and that must be it. Perhaps it's time that all of you know the true reason. This is probably how we're gonna get the other other instinct thing. Jiren's parents were slotted by power. But the boy Damn, was Rush, you put up a better fight than all of them. rescued by a man who would go on to become his master. From that day on, Jiren devoted himself to the path of righteous power. In time, he made friends, a new community, and followed his master's way. Then same villain return. Jiren and his new brothers in arms stood against him. The boys were sure this time they would win, but the foe was too strong. And Jiren watched as his friends were slain one by one. Even Jiren's master lost his life in the merciless battle. He tried to regroup and keep fighting, but none of the remaining students would join him. The people in his land were forced to submit to this cruel conqueror. And Jiren was left all alone. He suffered through untold grief when those he trusted walked away, betraying their principles for the easier path. As he saw it, there was only one great truth. Might makes right. And strength determines all. Only victories ensure allegiance. Subdue, and others will follow. Having feelings just got in the way. I have no words to share. Jiren, Goku might not be able to defeat you as he is now. But believe you me, he's a very adaptable lad. Soon enough, he'll learn and grow into your greatest opponent. At least, that's what I believe. Hey, old man! You're wide open! What?! This bow appears to save the perturbed Jiren, knocking Master Roshi out of the arena. He runs off to eight other allies, leaving Jiren to his own, own devices. Before Jiren can catch his breath, the universe seven where Vegeta appears and challenges him to a fight. Jiren issues a warning to, to Goku's Saiyan brethren. Jiren, tell me, 
For what purpose did you gain such strength? For great justice. Is that supposed to be a joke? Fulfilling justice is barely a motivation for becoming stronger. I imagine your universe must be quite peaceful. What? If your strength is enough to fulfill justice as it is, you do not understand true hardship. What did you say? Vegeta, mind if I cut in? <laughs> no one appears to be coming to your rescue. Either you're highly uncharismatic or you simply have no friends, hero. I am not like you. I do not require saving by my comrades. Slight correction. Frieza barely constitutes as a comrade. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, we're just in a temporary alliance. This guy's actually one of Goku's most hated enemies. Strange. Is this alliance comprised entirely of those Goku has once defeated? It was only one loss. After I take you down, I'll have surpassed Kakarot. Over here! What's wrong? Let's go! Sad. Pay attention. Take this. You're no. Let's go. Guy's a monster. Trust No escape. Forward.
Time to use that. That's it. Got you. Go up in the air. Right, use your bars. Disappointed in you, Goku. Your strength is almost as great as mine. Yet you would rely on others. No escape. You are done. The ultimate combo. I'm here to lend aid, Jiren. Don't worry about the other fighters. Enjoy your fill of fighting Goku. Using. It can't be! Forward! Power of destruction. This is power? Top. I'm shocked to see you're using this power of your own accord. <laughs> even if I'm not the one who does it, even if I'm not the one who delivers the final blow, as long as the universe wins, it's fine by me. Vegeta! Okay, so this is this isn't really an alternative. Just merging. The dust has settled, and it looks like it's just you and me. Wait, oh, maybe it is alternative. <sighs> Jiren, Tapo resolved to use the power of destruction to take Vegeta out with him. He did all of that for your sake. So it is alternative. In honor of his actions. You absolutely must defeat Goku! Even against the power of destruction, somehow that Saiyan brought the match to a draw. Jiren! I know I'm not on the same level as you, but that doesn't matter to me. What matters is I find a way to win this! Words alone are meaningless. If you say you wish to fight Goku, then step forward and fight! Goku is entangled with Jiren in a different struggle. His body is already at its limit. However, the determination of his allies has awakened a new power within him. Yay! I totally do this! Yay! Ultra Instinct! Goku me 
may be super amazing, but Jiren is super, super amazing. So he knows how to block. Who can? A strong defense will only get him so far. Without an offense to match, he has no chance of victory. With his incomplete Ultra Instinct, all he's doing is delaying the inevitable. You called it incomplete, which implies he hasn't fully mastered it yet. Don't tell me you're stupid enough to ignore the obvious implications of that. Are you suggesting that he can master Ultra Instinct in the time that he has left? Please. <laughs> you're a fool. That's impossible. 48 minutes. That's all we were given for this tournament of power. Yet in that brief time span, we Saiyan warriors have shattered our limits time after time. You've no, Jake, Jake, Seen okay. it with your own eyes, destroyer. Jiren, what are you waiting for? In this, knock Goku out of this tournament now. Sad. So it shall, Goku. I don't care if it's true Ultra Instinct. It won't matter. Jiren will never lose. He can't lose. It's not possible. I cannot lose. I won't accept defeat. Might makes right and might alone. Without strength, we have nothing. If I don't win, then all my effort, all I've struggled to achieve, all of it will have been pointless. I'll lose everything, just like I did before, and I absolutely refuse to go through that again! This is everything! Kakarot backed him into a corner. Seems the prospect of him losing made him relive all the trauma from his past. Goku had the edge, damn it. Tell me how. How you stand up no matter how many times you fall. Answer me, Goku! Because Vegeta and Seventeen and all the others gave everything they had. So I can keep going. Good you. As incredible as you are, now you have to admit what I've been saying is true, right? You understand, don't you? Christian Z3. Jiren and Goku, their limit breaking battle continues. Soon the former finds himself brought to bear by the new power of Ultra Instinct. Then Goku lives right before Jiren's eyes as they have finally reached the limits of his new power. You are a true warrior, Goku. There can be no doubt. I regret that our spirited battle must have such an inglorious end. What a shame. But though you shall soon vanish from existence, know that you shall live forever in my memory. Farewell. And just when you're about to toss Goku out of the arena. Goku's looking pretty useless now. Yes. Hold on a minute. That hard out. I thought they were the last one left. This time you'll get. I've wanna. Yeah, this is the same shit. You ain't following me. What are you? What? Oh. Can't 
One, two, three, four. Be a different ending, Once again, you have returned, and once again, you will fall. Chiron's focusing an incredible amount of energy now. I will not stand in my way! Damn it, he did it! Finally out of his own head! Chiron is truly amazing. He's gotten this strong all on his own. We still may not be enough for him, even with all three of us teaming up. You do remember your promise, don't you, Goku? To bring me back to life? Seriously, Frieza? Will you keep your word or won't you? As long as you hold up your end of the bargain and help us win, I'll hold up mine. You should know that better than anyone by now, don't you think? <laughs> that sickening naivete of yours is what I quite despise most of all. But for my own self-interest, I should probably thank you. You guys done? You sure are a tough one, Jiren. Huh? Or Super Dragon Balls? What? You can get Super Dragon Balls through doing Jiren's story too? After an urgent fight, Goku is knocked out of the arena, resulting in Universe 11's victory. I know we just barely finished the battle of our lives, but I'm already hungry for the next fight. Maybe you don't want to hear this. I hope to see you again, Jiren. Rose of his pitting doom, Gugu says this Jiren with a look of satisfaction before disappearing with the rest of the universe 7. And then Super Turner appears before Jiren to grant any way she he desires. I wish for all the universes that were erased to be restored. Jiren! Ooh. Is that what you want? You sure? Truthfully, what I want is to fight Goku once more. All this time, I've been shackled to my past, but I find myself with a new desire. No longer will I live with regrets, for I have a promise to fulfill. Oh. Jiren. Goku, he's a perplexing man indeed. We have a duty to return home. I've made my wish. Dog no guard. Sesvrino desari et folikav et ginurp. Peas and carrots. Peas and carrots, what? <laughs> The next time we cross paths, I'll defeat you again. Until then, 
Son Goku. Man, what an ending. Topo! Yes? Give the order to return to base. Our work here is done. Oh, yeah. And this ends Jiren's saga. Wow. Yeah, you see, you had to come in from a completely different direction to get there. All right. Well, that's it for Jiren's story. And I'm not sure if that's it, but it might be. We don't know. Ah, oh, it's got the master symbol on it. I get it. When you get that master symbol at the top right, it allows you to use Super Shenron. So, if that's the case, does that mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight? You can summon the Super Shenron eight times, maybe? People have speculated it to be only four, including the ultimate pass, but that might not be the case. Interesting. All right, you guys take care. See you next time. Before I end off this last part, I just want to see this. Got a call from Boma. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw Vegeta groveling in front of anyone. But a god of destruction would do it. Yet with no hesitation, you have the guts to slap him right across the face. Well, yeah. He ruined my party, after all. So intense. I can't believe all that happened over some pudding. What do you think? Pretty wild and cool looking, isn't he? You're telling me that's Vegeta? You've got to be kidding. They look kind of similar, I guess. Hard to tell, though. Same thing? Huh. What do you think? Pretty wild and cool. This was when Vegeta's power was enhanced by Bobbity. I couldn't believe he wanted to go back to being his old evil self. This was when Vegeta's oh, yeah. power was enhanced by Bobbity. I couldn't believe he wanted to go back to being his old evil self for a time. Hey, something's written on his forehead. I wonder what the M stands for. Some kind of new fashion trend? Beats the heck out of me. Where is Zeron? Goku and I are getting older, sure, but white hair? It's far too early for that. Sounds like it's black hair or nothing, huh, Chi Chi? I don't know. I kind of dig the silvery look. G Goku? Oh, wow. His attitude's made a complete 180. He looks stronger than ever. Great. Now he's got blue hair for some reason. I hope Gohan and Goten don't try to copy this nonsense. Well, I know I'm very biased. But I happen to like how flashy it is. If he keeps finding new transformations, maybe we'll see Super Saiyan Green someday. Or maybe purple. Eh, maybe not. Purple. Yeah, let's not go there. Now his hair is red. This one I just don't get. The blonde hair made him look like a delinquent enough already. Well, other than the hair color being different, he looks like he's become a lot stronger, too. Don't bother. That has nothing to do with it. It's all the same to Chi-Chi. Uh, look how scary he is! I hope Gohan doesn't try to copy this look. I 
don't know if I'm ready for that. With how smiley Goku tends to be, seeing him like this is almost uncanny. Where is everyone? Aggravatingly handsome guy was one of Frieza's right-hand men. He is pretty. <laughs> oh yeah. I'd be able to appreciate his looks if he wasn't a sleazy villain. He ain't so pretty now. Yeah, no. Ugh, I like his first form better. Sacrificed beauty in favor of power. Even with the boosted strength, he barely stood a chance against Vegeta. All right, and with that, we're gonna close off. Y'all take care. I'll see you guys next time. I'll definitely be doing another when more DLC comes out. Unless I find something that's worth recording, this will be the last recording you see until DLC drops. So, till then, y'all take care. Bye-bye. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.